Family, 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 family. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. What's up, man? Abari Ghani family, what's going on out there? Lines are open. Lines are open. We got the chat open. I updated. Yep, everything is updated. So we can go and pop off. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. Want to welcome you to the Congregation of the Mighty. This is Giami Journey Media. Go ahead, uh, um, go ahead, anime. Good job, girl. This is a Heart of a Summer production. And of course, you know, this is the Daily Toast. And the only thing I got to say to you is Habari Gane. What's going on? Y'all heard her. All the way upstairs. Family, it is Ujama for us, as you can see. But on Kwanzaa, today is Kuji Chagalia. We are on the second night of Kwanzaa. I am hyped. I am hyped. You know, we're going to have some call-ins. We're going to have some discussion about some of the stuff going on with Kwanzaa. I got um I got a call from a brother this morning about Kwanzaa and uh and I'm just I'm I, you know and, and you know the celebration was good last night. It was a little bit long, but shit, we got it all. It popped off. You are the first participant. All right, so now y'all know for a fact that the lines are open. I ain't playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Lines are open. So, um, 614-556-4535, right? But, you know, before we do that, we're going to do our water song. So y'all can join us as we sing the water song. But let me go ahead and pull up one more thing. And then also, I, I need to apologize. And I know, I, 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 I just want y'all to know, I need to apologize because, because I don't know what's going on with this software far as these winners uh oh here come here come my kwanzaa baby here everybody you know i miss miss sasha wanted to come on here i want everybody to tell miss sasha um uh, happy this birthday you know what i'm saying because this is the my kwanzaa baby we had ioka yesterday who was a moja baby we got kwanzaa the, i mean we got sasha today and she is a kooji chagalia baby she's one of those kwanzaa babies so when y'all see her tonight Y'all gonna give her some birthday love. She gonna be kicking it with me all day, even though she don't want to. She gonna be performing with the children. She'll lead them tonight. You know what I'm saying? Miss Sister Roni done set them up some nice little, you know, got them some parts, you know, because they weren't able to make all the practices. So when y'all see her, show her some love, because this is one of our Kwanzaa babies. So you got something you want to say to the people, Miss Sasha Marsh? Thank you. Okay, thank you. They ain't did nothing yet. Thank you. You so polite. All right, go ahead, girl. Uh, don't knock on my speakers. Uh, you, what, you want to stay up here? You going to stay here or you going over there to watch your videos and stuff? All right, so, um, so you know, lines are open. I just heard somebody call in. I'm trying to figure out how to see who it is. Who, who on the line? Who this be? Who this be? Is somebody, hello, can you hear me? What's up, brother Quasi? What's going on, man? I know you got a conversation you want to have before I go and do the water song. Let's let's pop it off. Oh man, I got I guess I gotta I, I gotta be the bad guy. Well, I mean, on, man. you know, you know, they got the Grinch that stole Christmas. You know, shit, we got you know we got the. But I mean, is it really being a bad guy bringing up a a, a, a quality question? You know what I'm saying? Because like 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 uh. Like my son, like my son and, and the rest of the crew said last night, how does a warrior learn? You know what I'm saying? By asking challenging questions. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, come on now. You cause you got a question for the people, do you not? So um I'm uh, be patient with me. Yeah. I'm getting my Well, hey, check it out. You ain't gotta do it now because I can, to carry. Don't worry about it. I'm like holding phone up to my ear. What I could do is I could start the Kwanzaa. I mean, I could start my, my song. We could do the song. 
you know, and then when you feel like bringing it up, bring it up because we're going to have other people calling in too. Because uh, it's, it's about to get, it, you know, because I got some people that's going to be mad. Now, some of y'all answered the question wrong, so you are not entered into the drawing. I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to write names on pieces of paper, and I'm going to have to announce the winner because I don't, and then I'm going to call these people, and I hope I don't have to have, I hope I don't have to cut off another service because I don't think that it's right that my people have to sit, sit up here and suffer and wait. To see who won, right? But go ahead. Um. Okay. So um, I was um I was talking to this that um is kind of new to Columbus to the Columbus movement. Uh -huh. which, you know what we do. So it was kind of I was just interested to get an outsider's perspective, and um. That, along with things that I heard from some a lot of familiar faces, was just people was, I, I, and even with my own eyes, I saw a lot of tension circling around timing, punctuality, and and order. Order. Well, I think that kind of ultimately goes back to order. My eye, you know. So, you know, I'm I'm just I'm just asking. I'm just wondering how much like tangible practical value uh -oh. that we are allowing Kwanzaa to have in our individual in our collective lives and you know, because like I, I'm personally uh, in a, in the midst of incorporating things into my life that I think are going to help me have a, a healthier outcome um, and just like anything else Everything takes up time. Right. So one of the main things that I'm interested in doing right now is establishing a routine. Um, so with that, this is like kind of a the holiday season. It's kind of a a chaotic season, a chaotic time period just in the fact that there's so many special days and there's a lot of stuff going on that that automatically takes us out of our routine even if you know whatever routine we may have mm -hmm. so i'm like okay so what is that adding like when that when that festival season is over is that going to be some type of momentum in, in some way is that going to be is that going to spark something so back to what the the uh the person i was talking to it was it was noticed that it was pointed out to me that one of the potential reasons why we might be struggling with punctuality timing is because there's so many people in the room, but the actual jobs and the roles are only being contributed to by a handful of people. You know, so I'm thinking like, what if, what if from this quantum when the, the day that this Kwanzaa is over, we start behaving in a manner that understands that Kwanzaa is coming next year. So every person that came, this is me just kind of going on a tangent a little bit now, just my curiosity, I guess. But if every, what if every person dedicated one day of the year of 2019 leading into Kwanzaa, so if they dedicated one day, a few hours, just to doing something that will contribute to Kwanzaa, you know, because I see about five or six people doing everything, hmm. you know? Hmm. So, I mean, actually, that's, that's the way, that's the way it's supposed to kind of be, but, um, so you said you only saw yeah. about, saw about five. Can you elaborate on that? What do you mean when you say that's how it's supposed to be? Well, I mean, because like if you look at the principles of Kwanzaa, I mean, they they they're, they're uh, community based unity. I mean, shit. I mean, you can't have unity within yourself. Mm -hmm. We talk about all of the principles being an internal thing first, and then working their way out. But all of the principles, like a, the majority, Ujima, Ujama, all collective work of responsibility, cooperative economics. These are things that require a social 
aspect or they 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 require a group to be active in so the whole idea of the principles of kwanzaa is getting the group active in something now well go ahead i think who's on this crazy yeah okay so yeah. that's what i think that i mean who's that is that Navita? yeah i think that crazy is saying if there was more people uh had more what is it, irons in the fire, de delegating more duties to more people, that it would be the time thing may not be as much of an oh. issue. That's what it, but I think that the, the reason being is because it this, this uh, like last year, I think it was a community Kwanzaa sponsored event. So you had several people from different parts of the community taking part in it. But this has now become where people from the community are not allowed to help. So it has to be within the confines of Tom Wee. So they are the ones that actually delegate who does what within their tribe. So that's why you, there's not maybe enough people to go around to maybe have maybe 12 people on the, that you delegate to do this, that, and the third. So I think that's what Quasi was kind of trying well, to address. Nah, no? nah, because he also said something about the timing as well. Now, nah, because it's like, Whenever you do anything, you only going to have a few people possibly doing the work. I mean, that's like, that's not just Kwanzaa shit. That's life, is it not? You have... Uh, yes and no. I, think, I thought he was saying, but if you have, have people, people delegating just on, for example, there was people who had multiple, were doing multiple things, and if you just would have had one person saying, this is what you do, and you keep them on task. This is you, and that's your perfection. You keep it on time and on task. And that's all you do. And then the other person is, your job is to, you know, keep the crowd down, go throughout the crowd, keep it, just talk to a minimum. You know, I thought he was saying, because it, one person was handling so many responsibilities that maybe the time thing kind of got out of hand. Uh, I don't know. Time thing got out of hand because... I think that we are, my, my point is... I think that's what he was saying. I'm like, you know. In a sense, I mean, that's all part of it. We are not a well oiled machine. We're not moving like a well oiled machine. We're moving like a. Up we'll get down, there. I think we will get there. I don't think y'all okay. niggas want to run around. I don't think we'll get there. I think for the people who are putting it on, it's still kind of new. So it's going to be like a trial and error type thing because it's still new to the people who are putting it on. And um, I think each time they go, They'll learn from their mistakes. And next year, I think it will be better. Now, what I would like to see our community do is when they see these things happen, don't necessarily give up on the entity because it's new. I mean, Kwanzaa has been around for a long time, but I know Tawi has been doing Kwanzaa events for a long time, but I don't think the particular people who are on the committee have been. So there's going to be some, you know, they're learning as they go. I think they just would like for the community to be patient with them as they learn as they go. Well, my thing is, tell me, give me something to do. Did, wait, give but hold on. Give me, hold a, on. give me a job. Give me a role. Give hold me something to do. Hold do on. Do, do we have to give you a job or do you have to do like you did last night? I mean, because really, when it came down to it, you, you, you help, you, you help, you help me out last night. Yeah, sure, and I mean, and, that, and that's what I do. Like, that's kind of what I do. Um, I'm I'm that dive right in type of person, and like I, we we did and this uh, when I was with Sister I think Keanu. Be a part of the committee, or at least they're allowed to participate in it if he wants to help in some kind of way. Instead of saying, "Well, you're not a member, so we can't." But I'm not. Have you. I mean, but Navita, being fair, I'm not a member. I know that, but that was, okay, you're not a member, I but I mean, I'm just saying that was the criteria I was told, so I'm just going by what I was told that the criteria right. was, that they were doing it different this year, and they're not going to have the community come in on the planning seat, but this I think it would be nice if people could come in and, and, and volunteer their assistance. This is how I'm looking at Columbia. It's like an audit of how we behave. It's like a Mike, a condensed version of how mm. we get down for the rest of the year. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's an audit. 
That's exactly and precisely what it is. You said we got we got what a whole week of holiday like that could be valuable. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people take off work. You can get religion, religious reasons to take off work. It's, it's that's a tool to to, to really be. Uh, it could it could turn into a lot of different things. Oh yeah, but it I has. mean that. Last night, it, for me, it was kind of like a. So I was, I, I definitely was glad to be there. I, I, I felt in good spirits just seeing a lot of people that I hadn't seen. I got some, some fragrance, you know. Um, Damn, that's what I I'm, need to get. I'm looking forward to tonight. But I'm like, okay, 2019 means that there's one year left until 2020. And again, I don't know if I'm just some weirdo, but 2020 to me, it just feels like a big deal. It feels like, yo, get your shit together type of thing situation especially we know these tax cuts and stuff are coming Ooh. with the Trump that whole situation that shit's going to start rolling in so it's like oh yeah let's just show up in like Wakanda wear <laughs> you know what I'm saying and show up our our, kuta, our our kente cloths and you know what I mean like okay but now what like you know now what I don't want to get too much into some of the details of what happened yesterday, but I know my. Why not? Was, we got time. Well, shit, it's I, called I toast and went, discuss. Huh? It's called toast and discuss. We got time, but brother Kwame also joined us. Mm -hmm. I'm back to the system. I'm about to get back to the plantain and do my thing because I don't want my to get me off this phone. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later, Pete. <laughs> All right, listen in. Go ahead. Uh, Brother Kwame, you 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 enjoyed this? What's going on, brother? It's all good, man. Uh, I'm listening in. Okay. Well, I mean, I, it's good. I, it's good to have you listening in, man. Your Kwame mix is almost done. I gotta stop. See, now I gotta get to the store and get that burdock root or that dandelion root or both, and then after that, it'll be done. But it's been sitting. So, um. No, I think. One of the things I think uh, Brother Chris was saying is that uh, just like um, last night when we had uh, at least in, um Cleve, you know, give their presentation on their, uh, what the question was that they chose. Right. And what their evaluation, quote unquote, of that question was and, uh, and in many respects how they applied that to their life as such. Uh, um, Brother Quasi saying that Kwanzaa is an evaluation um, of how we did in many respects in the past year and what the plan is for the upcoming year. So I, I think that's a part of what the brother's driving at, or that's what I hear anyway. Is that what's going on, Quasi? That's definitely. I mean, that's definitely like it's so it's so multifaceted, and it's so it's it's kind of difficult to even. I, yes, that is definitely a huge part of of my concern. Is that it's at the end of the year, so we have the entire year to, you know, get that get that ready, make it be what it's going to be, and it's like. This is our showing the community. This is what we got. We've been doing this all year. We've been working together. We've been doing these things. And we do great work. Don't get me wrong. We do great work in, in our own pocket. And then Kwanzaa, the Kwanzaa celebration seems like a come together. Just kind of how the warriors go in front of everybody. And then we, we teach the, the, the crowd what we have learned. Well, we demonstrate. Like that huge. We demonstrate because, you know? well, the issue is we demonstrate because the whole crowd may not be involved or even understand. Like, for example, one one of the questions that also always freak people out with 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 Jamie, you know what question I'm talking about, Quasi? Which one? When they was when they go through the question. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. See, because um, a lot of people. What must a warrior do? Right. What was what must the warrior do to be great? A lot of people don't understand that shit, so that automatically mm -hmm. shut a lot of people down. So now 
The piece is everybody might not be able to participate because of their level of understanding or because of other commitments. So it's like we do have a mass, an unorganized mass of people come together. But we had we got vending going on, we got performances going on, and what it does, it gives a group of us or several groups of us an opportunity to practice organizing mass groups. So I'm not expecting everybody that come to Kwanzaa to, to have a light come on. Like I told you, I get at least two or three different, two or three new people involved with what we're doing every Kwanzaa. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, boom, we're able to demonstrate that we're able to do it. And like I said, I'd rather build slow than to build fast because I see what happened when you build fast. You know what I'm saying? I got you from a slow process. I got Deshaun from a slow process. I got Sister Tracy from a, a, a slow process. It's got, you know what I'm saying? We got our whole team from a slow, steady um, um, process, right? It's nothing big and glamorous. We don't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and But we're able to come together and show that we're able to not tear up, um, tear up a facility. I mean, shit, I mean, basically, that's what it is. We able to come well, together. Aspect, uh, I, if you hadn't mentioned it already, the other aspect is that you're bringing different aspects of the family mm -hmm. together. You know, uh, last night you saw that there were, uh, for example, Malik and Roni who stressed yoga. Um, <clears throat> Roni to the point where she even speaks of comedic yoga. And, you know, so you get that group who comes together. You get the Jinyame crew who comes together, the Taomi Family Village crew who comes together. And then, you know, uh, uh, you have more people coming together. Uh, names I can't call off the top of my head, you know, presently, but, but also you get people who are, quote unquote, extended family members. Right. Of those different. And so, um, just recall that one of our goals is to stabilize our cultural holidays. Stabilize um, our culture through a holiday. Yeah. Thank you. That's very, more importantly, that's, that's the way it should be phrased. Um, and so, by stabilizing you know, our culture through these holidays, you know, first and foremost, we have to get the holidays up and run. Mm -hmm. Now, and maybe I'm misphrasing that. I said first and foremost. First and foremost, we got to have a grasp of our culture. <laughs> That's first and foremost. And then next, you know, we have to get the uh, holidays up and run. And then as a uh, hot Tim just uh, spoke of and demonst demonstrate our culture, how it works for us. Because not everybody's going to want their child to quote unquote do an ambulation. Ambl you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Hey, hey. Um, with, with raccoons pit, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Please. <laughs> Please. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You know, um, but, uh, uh, look, you know, um, I think there's a lot of things that, you know, as you're alluding to, Brother Equation, there's a lot of things we got to get worked out. I'm not disheartened. You know, I, I'm full of hope. Um, because, uh, again, you know, we got family members coming together, even though some said they didn't want no parts of it. Oh, you man! I mean? you, so you saw it. You, you saw it last night, huh? <laughs> I love my family, man. Uh, no, but look, but look, man, look. But this is family. Hey, did you see me and Allende get in an argument? Did y'all did y'all see me and Allende resolve a conflict in front of the community? <laughs> uh -huh. huh? It was an argument between you and Allende? Yeah, about the damn mic. You know what I'm saying? And we resolved that shit in a peaceful fashion because I it was my fault because I didn't look at the paper properly. And Allende was trying to correct me. And I'm like, no, 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 boom, boom. And he said, give me the goddamn. He, he took the mic and he started, he said, look at, now look at it again. Step back and look at it. 
We resolve the conflict in front of the whole community in a peaceful fashion. Dude, what all I'm saying is, see, a lot of people, see, because family, we don't want to run like a well or a machine. We don't. That shit right there, that is some straight, um, that's some straight left, left, left brain bullshit. The universe don't run like a well oiled machine. It runs like a, a the universe cluster. absolutely runs like a well oiled machine. Shit. Shit. The universe absolutely no, runs like no, a well oiled machine. No, no. So what you're saying is it that God, wait, well, hold on, because what you're saying is that God bases designs on man. A, a well oiled machine is a man concept. No, a well oiled machine is what? Based off of God's no, design. no, it's not. No, it's Everything not. It turns back to itself. No, okay, it's so not. Let me, so maybe I won't say, instead of we're all machine, I'll say the idea of timing. The reason the engine works, you need three things. You need combustion, you need air, and you need, wait a minute, you need combustion, you need, what, what is it, fire, fire um, and timing, air. and air. That's what makes a combustion engine work. I, I believe it's those three things. Three things. But to, I want to talk about the timing part, though, because the timing, like, yes, you need the spark and you need the air to make the spark keep burning. But if it sparks and then it burns and then it does, the, the pistons pump one time, but then on the next go round, the gears don't catch in the right place and the engine's going to stop. So the idea of just like if, if, if the universe wasn't operating like something that had a timing belt, essentially, or if a, that idea didn't get inspired by the universe, then why are we doing Kwanzaa in December, year after year after year? Hmm. That's, that's like, that's the timing. Like, hmm. everything happens in timing. Why do we plant plants in the spring? Why, we why, if if it was on timing, I'm about to go plant an apple tree right now. You know what I mean? One of the ideas go plant some green. First was I'm first sorry. fruit. Was the celebration of first fruit. Mm -hmm. And harvest, you know, we just finished the harvest. Uh, I, you know, there's several reasons um, why this is an appropriate time. And as you're suggesting, a lot of it does deal with what our understanding of quote unquote astronomy was. And, and, you know, I understand what you mean when you say the universe runs like a well-oiled machine. But as a man's understanding of looking out into the universe and seeing the signs that, you know, uh, a red giant's about to go nova or something of that effect, you know, um, that's, a, that's a lot of years in the making. And we just happen to look in the right area at the right time where we can see or get some uh, some idea of what the results of a star going supernova. And so, yeah, I mean, you know, you're both right in the sense that there are laws by which the universe operates. But within those laws, it's a high degree of, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Uncertainty, un variation. Un unpredictability. Right. Because yeah, it's right. like with an a, 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 a engine, a well-oiled machine, it, it's definitely destined to break down. It's, it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. So well-oiled machines don't last forever. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's, so that's the that's universe, universal concept. The universe. I have, a, a, I have a really good understanding of that because I had to, uh, when I was working over there at the base, uh, we had to figure out the best way to make sure that there were enough parts, especially for those parts that you couldn't necessarily predict when they were going to break down. Imagine that. You have to try to predict at least accurate enough to have enough parts on hand so that when that one part that you would least expect to, you know, break down, let's say uh, 
y'all remember a number of years back when that uh, uh i forget which one of us was it Ballinger or columbia that blew up on the way uh right on uh install. and it was attributed to an old ring now i mean you know maybe it was uh at least that's what they attributed to now how in the hell are you supposed to predict that that old ring was going to go bad at that, that time <laughs> Mm. But again, that's the thing that when it comes right down to it, those are the things we have to try to prepare for. Which is unpredictable. And organic. Yeah. An organic thing is not a machine though. I mean that's that's that I have a I have a problem with that with that analogy. it's not it's not a machine. It's, it, it, it involves a lot of chaos, explosion. For I mean, even even in a real oil machine, there's explosion. That's unpredictable. That's you know, I mean, but uh, it's chaos. No, but what I think again, the reason why I'm not necessarily using the idea of a machine, but what I understand them to mean is that there are laws that govern. I can dig, that. I and, dig and, that. And in order to optimize what we want to do. We take in accordance to all these laws, and then we govern ourselves accordingly. <clears throat> so, I mean, I understand what he's saying, and uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna take a little, you know, it's gonna take a minute. Shit, I, I okay. mean, but I had a good time last night. I don't, I don't know about nobody else. I had a good time. I had a great time last night, and that's the thing. I don't want to be, I don't want to sound like I'm just like. So, more specifically, my conflict was I had. I knew Kwanzaa was going on, but I, I'm into my wellness right now. So I have somebody that wanted to go do something that was contributing to the wellness. So I had to decide. Well, actually, last night, it kind of, I, I did both. I was able to do both. Yeah, I, I was kind of surprised. But you but know, the, I didn't know they was doing a, a, a yoga demonstration last night, too. And um, I did, Yeah, that's interesting. And you came in right after that, too. But go ahead. So, I guess I'm just thinking of it. I love Kwanzaa. I think it's a beautiful thing. Like I love seeing black people in a space like that together <laughs> and harmonizing and, and having a positive atmosphere. But I also want to see me be my best me. And time is a is a limited resource, you know. Right. And I can I, I can't make anybody here do anything. I can I struggle to make me do stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So that's like my struggle. That's the, that's a struggle that I take ownership of. It's, it's forcing me to do stuff. You know what I mean? So the conflict of how am I spending this limited amount of time that I have and how is it contributing to my ultimate end goal is just kind of, that's, that's the reason that this whole conversation is happening from my perspective. It's like a... a so I thought I heard you mention the idea of punctuality. And, <laughs> you know, hell, uh, I got there late. Hell, I was supposed to be part of the procession. Um, but I got there late. But there was a damn good reason I got there late. Right. And part of it was because I was doing what we talk about practicing doing all year long. Right. I was tending to an elder. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, one who is often forgotten and needed help. So, you know, and, and I realized, I was like, damn, I'm going to be late for, you know, uh, Kwanzaa. And then all I can say is it is what it is. Hey, and that's what I kept telling people. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about the time. See, because my whole piece is now, because like, I have never, how can I put it? It's very few things that I have gone to or been part of that have um well I I'm take that back because there's some stuff that's just the timing is just is perfect and boom boom boom. I just like I say I just go with the flow. I had planned to be there, I had planned to be and and um I I've been uh involved in this thing. I've been preparing for this thing for a whole year. So for me, I'm not really pressed about the time. Because right now, for me, 
this is like the five days that the uh in, in some in some systems they say the Egyptians used to set aside. Huh? <laughs> It's the time out of time. It's the time out of time. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying myself. I ain't got to be nowhere. I ain't got to go nowhere. And I'm just going to ride this and, and get refueled for the year, for the coming year. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because the, the energy in the place was beautiful. It's just like uh, the only thing that, that really got, that really bothered me was people wanting to sit down and have discussion about other events why i'm in the midst of kwanzaa i mean this is not the time this is not the space for us to you know because i get that every year every year you know people got ideas and they want to share these ideas i'm like that's not the time or the place for that you know what i'm saying at least with me now i'm, I'm about to go up here and announce this shit. i'm trying to see my brother because you know what i'm saying because I, i'm not i haven't been able to get to uh, roni's yoga i haven't been able to get to brother malik's yoga and both of them was demonstrating last night, and I'm sitting up here listening to somebody tell me about another festival while I'm at the festival at hand. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm 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 available. I'm in the community. It's other people around that you can plan with. I'm sitting up here trying to enjoy, you know, and 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 and, and MC. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm blessed to that way, and then, like I said, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to keep the uh, the warriors busy and stuff like uh -huh. that. So I, it was, oh shit, I, I didn't. You even that to him? I'm sorry, you made me have to call. People was doing that to me too, and I'm like <laughs> trying to give them the hint. Like, can't you see? I'm trying to listen to what they talk about up here. Hey, you know, you want to do an event? We trying to put. Look, <laughs> people on. First of all, people on stage talking. Right. Can't right. you understand that it means you're supposed to shut the fuck up? <laughs> or what? And that's one thing that really annoys me is our people sometimes they talk all this good shit about what we want to do and the, the unity and respect each other. But then y'all can't even shut your mouth up for 10 minutes to see to hear somebody else talk on stage because you're so consumed with what you want to do. Oh, yeah. And not just any somebody, but some kids. Like, and that's the whole thing we're supposed to be talking about. And I, that's what I'm saying, Hotel. It's like, man, I, I got so much value and respect for what you do. I think part of, I, I was kind of beating around the bush, but from my perspective, you are the centerpiece of a lot of stuff that happens. And, you know, truthfully, I would have to call myself as dropping the ball for letting you shoulder too much weight. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just, that's the truth of it. At the same time, I'm in the process of physically and kind of metaphorically strengthening my back because I'm, you know, I mean, I can't call out none of them people in that room because I, I've dropped the ball a lot over the years, you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, I dropped the ball, so what am I going to leave it on the ground and pick that shit up and keep playing, you know what I mean? That's, with, but, I'm here. Uh, Aquasi, with each new rising of the sun, we have a chance to do better. Mm. I say. So, you know, leave that shit, you know, yeah, you dropped the ball. So the fuck what? We have a new rising of the sun. Let's make it better today. That's all, bro. Yeah, just pick it up and so, keep on rolling. That's right, brother Kwame. Uh, but I, I, I did have a, uh, a, a slight concern because I don't know if some people realized they were, you know, their, their mic was live. But there was some talking going on in the back where there was a live wire and it wasn't, um, or I'm sorry, a live mic. And it wasn't the mic that was coming from the stage. So, like, for example, when the, uh, the, uh, the string, the uh, Urban Strings was playing, um, I think a Yende was, had a live mic at one point, somebody else. Uh, talking with Roni or, or talking about what she does had a live mic and and that was uh, that was kind of frustrating okay yeah I so know. we get it so we need to you know, we'll, we got they're going to have this mic improvement that sure guys right. can do next year like you know and when they're not even next year like remember we got five life, days you know left what I'm right we got five days left so you know, because like uh, some right. shit, it's some shit that we could correct now. Because one of the problems was that from what I uh, Malik kept, I I didn't understand what Malik was doing. Because Malik kept looking at me saying, 
you want me to open the curtains? And he was doing, he was, I said, no, they don't go on yet. But what he was telling me, he was saying, dude, the speakers are back here in the back of the stage behind the goddamn curtain. Nobody could hear on the other side of the room what's going on. So while Cleveland and them was talking on the mic, nobody on right. the other side could hear anything over there because the the mics, the uh, the the speakers was behind. I thought it was coming from the speaker on top of the stage, but it was coming from the speakers. And and with the curtains closed, you can hear nothing. That's you know. That, so that was part of the issue too. So, you know, like I said, we troubleshoot, we find out, we make improvements. That's, that's a simple, that's a simple oh, yeah. lack of, of, a, of a soundtrack. And you know what I mean? Like, just planning, being, being there, like, man, we, had, we are warriors. We at war. You see what I'm saying? Right. I, Brother Kwame just taught me these nine different uh, aspects. Uh, I can't remember exactly of human life, I think it was. No, it was uh, the, the um, nine areas of life. Nine, nine areas of activity? Yeah, activity. yeah, nine, yeah, yeah. nine areas of activity. So, all of those things revolve some type of plan. <laughs> and war is like, I, I'm, I'm personally very much interested in war. It's something that I just, I, I relate, I understand that it, it makes a lot of sense to me. It's something that I, I'm not gonna say I think about a lot per se, but you know I what I mean. That's kind of time. something that I, I gravitate towards the, the thought, the understanding of that. You know what I mean. So one of the important aspects of battle is if you show up to a battle late, then your opponent is deeply entrenched, and you about to get smoked. <laughs> you say you don't you don't prepare for battle in the on the battlefield field. on the battle right. now, but but. But if you if you are in a because uh, this is a situation we in Quasi, our enemy is well entrenched, and a lot of us don't even know that we are at war. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what what a lot of us have learned how to do is roll with that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what that that's that's what I that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm rolling with shit. You know what I'm saying? Boom! Uh, explosion to the right. All right, keep it. All right, everybody move to the left. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, boom, we've been hit with so much shit, right? And so all of a sudden, somebody wake up in the middle of our conference and they want to talk louder than the motherfucker on the mic because they never realized how important this shit was. Or they never been in a place where people were actually listening to them before. So we got a lot of shit going on around us and we just need to be, we need to be clear and understanding of the fact that, like, for example, where else? I mean, because Malik, um, Malik had an opportunity. Roni had an opportunity. Daryl Green had an opportunity to do what they do. And it's very helpful, even though the crowd might not, not even understand Ashe and, and, and Prana and shit like that. That shit is very important. And where else would they have an audience of all, of all us to be able to discuss that shit with? And why shouldn't they be excited? And and why should I rush them off the goddamn stage? I'm not. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck the time. I'm shit. You know what I'm saying? I, for me, that's how the, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a time this time right now. And I understand people got other stuff to do. But hey, if I can give you all the time I can, I am. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're talking you talk some good stuff. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm done. Another thing that stuck out from that list. For me, like the second thing that I latched on to was economics. That's something that I've been, uh, I, I, I just finished reading a book called Freakonomics. I think I talked about that on the previous radio show. And it was yeah. talking about how you can, you can kind of evaluate, you can kind of evaluate your entire life through thinking of, through econ economics, through economy. And I took one economics class. It was like a, a prereq for, for my uh, undergrad or whatever. Uh, economics 101. Right. One of the first things that I learned in that class was opportunity cost. No matter what you choose, by default, you're cho you're not choosing everything else. When you choose something, you, you're saying that everything else is being sacrificed for the thing that you chose. You know, so it's like, and while I do understand the value of, I'm not picking sides. I'm not saying one is right or one is wrong, but I know brother uh, Yorami. 
Karami, 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 Karami,
Well, see, exactly. It's common courtesy. It's common. That's why I said that space may not be what y'all want to use next year. Because you're going to have to, maybe y'all should have a space dedicated to, like, you know how we did the Malcolm X and we had, like, inside, outside? Right, right. Maybe there would be a place where people could come and watch the tough speakers, the reformers, and then another place, like how Shaka was DJing and shit. Right. And people could go in there and talk. Mm-hmm. Socialize or something. <laughs> I, that drives me absolutely nuts. Cause they were, hey man, they showed. I mean, cause I mean, I had to walk back. Cause I looked at Quace. I said, "Dude, I'm about to get in a fight." <laughs> right. I was like, I told somebody, like, "You're not." I was like, "You're about to get in a fight." I was like, "Dude," I said, "Cause I'm like, yo," and then you said, "Be quiet," and then they turn, look right at you for a second, and then start talking again. These, but these motherfuckers. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But you know, but like I said, we got to understand what we're dealing with because everybody there. Wouldn't even necessarily live for Kwanzaa. They wouldn't, you know, they they might have saw something going on, or they might have not had, you know, they might have had a bad Christmas and they want to try something new, or, or or they heard something from one of their friends and they came in, and they saw somebody they didn't see. Because we got to remember, some people ain't seen some of these people in like five years. So, like to be to say, maybe we need a space where we are able to do that. But right now, we're gonna have to navigate. Do what we got. We're gonna make what we got work and we had and we had a beautiful time. Elder Tony trying to call me. I gotta see what's going on. I hope everything is cool. Um So yeah, maybe tonight in future just a suggestion that you reiterate to people that when there's people on the stage to be quiet and make sure when you do make that announcement that people are actually listening to you make the announcement. Because even when you made the announcement last night, half of the people that was the violators wouldn't even listen to you. So they didn't even... Yeah, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, you know what I mean? But you know me, like, give me the microphone, I walk right up to him and look in his face and talk on the microphone face. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we got up. a show going on over here. <laughs> you know. I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly, I'm willing to do that. But at the same time, I... I kind of say that in jest because you never know how a person might respond. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No you don't want to do that. Just, but well, I'm, I'm glad to have them there. I'm glad that, well, you know, it's time I've been, but I'm glad to see people show up even if they're allowed to talk about oh, it. Oh, man, it, could just it be was more packed. Success, it was packed. I'm sitting up here like, man, look, I'm filming, and I could not believe because at first when we came in, it was only a few people, but then by the time me and the Vita got back, every last one of those seats was filled. That whole area over there was packed over there. And I'm like, shoot, man, I was appreciative of the people. But like I said, that's part of that's part of the whole piece of right, I'm being appreciative a- of the people that's no, there. Man. Even the violators. Right, even the violators, you know, but shut the fuck up. I mean, because you know, I, you know, because I'm sitting up here like, yo, you ain't gonna disrespect my babies. Especially, I mean, now, first off, my babies, but then I got my baby baby up here, and even though he was kind of long winded. Y'all gonna... <laughs> yeah, man, I'm gonna <laughs> fall too far from the tree. Yo, I'm hey, Queen, you and your daddy, son. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I said, oh, man, I said, dude, two minutes, man, two minutes. Look, <laughs> look if we need somebody to eat up some mic time, man, I don't want nobody but I did. And he was getting, he was getting more comfortable by the second too. Oh man, dude, you saw it, so you noticed that shit. I'm sitting up here like two minutes. I'm like, we five minutes, we five, we five minutes in. He starts smiling and shit. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, I know that look. We got to get him off the mic. Crazy, crazy. You can tell when he started getting comfortable, man. I heard it in his voice. I was like, oh shit. Man, yeah, he's like, okay, listen up. Let me tell you, okay, this is what really happened. Right. <laughs> right. Oh. I said, man. Oh, he said, he said, look, look, he got so comfortable. He said, he said the raccoon pissed on him when he was laying down. Pissed on him when he was standing up. I was like, damn, please. <laughs> this raccoon pissed all over you. Yeah. I guess what I'm supposed to take away from that message is, if you're scared, you get pissed off. You get pissed off. <laughs> and and a raccoon is his spirit animal. He, he you know, he 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 got a he got a very special connection with raccoons and shit. That's that spirit animal. But I'm sitting up here like, wow. <laughs> you know, because I didn't expect that at all, man. But then you know what? I told him, I said, listen, I'm not 
I'm not rushing them off stage. I'm not. I shit. I'm giving. I gave everybody else time. They gonna have time too. So you know, ramble on a little bit quicker though, dude. Cause you gotta hurry up, please. And Quasi even that's yeah, Quasi grabbed and say, man, he need a timer. I said, damn, we already over time. We need to put a timer up there. I'm like, oh man, that didn't even stop. Me. I mean, yeah, that's his destiny. That's like that's he, he. How many times is a young man gonna get opportunity to speak in front of a hundred, a couple hundred people potentially? You know, so that was invaluable for him. Getting that's like a dude that's in college getting to just play a day in the NBA. You know what I mean? You get that three day experience. Look, game, it was it was up, but it's worth it's way to go. Check this out now. Um, you know. I was brought up in a Catholic school, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were having mass at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. But the students had to go before the whole church and read. So that puts you, you know, that gets you accustomed to having to do stuff in front of people so that no matter how scared you may be, you know you can get through it. And so, you know, this is part of the whole initiation process, right. of, you know, trying to get our babies through, you know. <clears throat> they need to be comfortable speaking um, uh, what their thoughts are on certain matters, questions, and as it were, uh, things of the universe. So, you know, it's all good. So, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So, but Miss Tracy is on the line. She joins us. How you doing, Miss Tracy? Lady T. I'm doing good. But I, I had to um, heard you talking about the audience talking, so they were out there talking and it just seemed like you kept getting loud over like over by like the window. So I go and I start telling people to be quiet. And so then I'm like, um, it's kids up here talking about an experience that they had that it's grown men having have an experience. So I had this one guy tell me like, Yeah, but you know what it is, it's what I need is it's 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 on the introvert on the in, inside of me. I'm like What? Then maybe you need to do one too. <laughs> like wait, you're not listening. Wait, yeah, wait, so. what did he say? What did he say? I mean, so he was doing nigga speak? What was that? What what'd you just say? He said he said what he means is on it's uh introverted, it's on the inside of me. See, and that's part of the problem too. A lot of our people crazy. I mean, I, that that shit is just basically crazy as hell. That, that's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just crazy. I, I still don't understand. Did you understand what he meant? Can you explain? I, I didn't understand. Well, I mean, he was saying the same thing. No, I don't think he understood what he meant. So, if he truly understood what he meant, he would not have made the statement. <laughs> right? He would have been listening and like, I want to do that next year, so I can go on the inside and figure me out. Right. That's exactly what I'm like. You know, I mean, you would have learned something if you shut up. So, it's a, yeah, so now this shows that was, an, that was an experience. Like y'all said, it's like um, it's like having some kind of um, a code that has the whole place quiet. Like when someone is coming up when they're on stage, you know, said to be respectful to the people that are up there speaking because they did have an experience that a lot of men have an experience. Mm. And they're 15 years old. My, well, my nephew um, had the experience. He was 15. I was like, wait, what? 13? No, it was, it was, was 12. Cleve was 12. Was, um, was Ty Keith Ty wasn't 15 yet, was he? Ty Keith is 16 now. He just okay. had a birthday. Okay. All right, so you were 15. And it's like, yo, man, I mean, and it's like, and, and I'm like, yo, but, you know, like you said, now you're going back to a key word, that code. And agenda, see, because in, now in the room we had a whole bunch of different codes and a whole bunch of different yeah. agendas, and right. then on top of that we got people trying to be deeper than the people on the stage as well, you know, because obviously what you just said right there was supposed to really impress you. So, and but then that brings up another point that Quasi brought up because it wasn't just a few people, because as Navita has has laid out, as Sister Tracy has laid out, as uh, Kwame. Laid out as 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 uh, you yourself, uh, Quasi laid out. We all started trying to help. Malik was behind the curtain trying to help. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people just those people who truly are tried, those people who truly are on code was in there doing what they what they were supposed to do. 
All you know, and 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 where else could we have experienced that then somewhere on December 26th in a place that was too small? And we actually had a we had the ability to say that place is too small for us. We can actually look at that as a group sitting here right now and be like, damn. You know what? It is too small for us. But, you know, like I said, I mean, uh, and, uh, it was a beautiful, uh, you know, and, and, and since Tracy, thank you for going over there because I'm sitting up. I, but Clee didn't have to go that long. You know, I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. My baby didn't have he to go that to long. Down all, every, all the unbalanced crashes and why they was, why he was unbalanced in the crashes that he That's what I'm, years. I'm like, what is he about to say about love? <laughs> Oh, you see, he skipped over that one, right? He skipped over that shit. You know what I'm saying? He skipped over lust, and he ain't never picked that one. You know what I'm saying? I just, I said two uh, minutes. Give him a couple years. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you might not need a couple years. He's like, we've all had a I'm going to do, do a three-hour talk about lust today, everybody. <laughs> the first time I lusted was... I looked at the, the raccoon and the raccoon looked at me. <laughs> and I had to decide whether it was love or lust. Oh, man. <laughs> hey man, hey, Clay. Hey, hey, and I you know I, I was proud of all of the warriors. And and really I was proud of the community, man, because think about this. Even with people over talking, we got out on time. Everything didn't happen on time. So what I have to start telling people is when we have our events, we might be running behind. You understand what I'm saying? And then also, as as Allende put it, we need to put we need to put the uh we need to put the speakers up front unless people are coming for the speakers. So I mean, so every year we learn something, we just have to start reinforcing it. And then with Clean and Tykees and all these young people watching us. And and they start getting the formula, they start getting the code, so that we can, as as Quasi would put it, put the oil in the right places and get the proper timing. Even though I don't like that analogy, but I'm gonna use that shit. <laughs> get the yeah, proper man, timing. The tin, the, tin, the tin man, the tin man couldn't pop lock unless you gave him a little oil. Man. That's true. That's true. So we put it together so that by the time they're running it, it'd be it. It'll be it'll be unstoppable because you had the speakers up front and then all the entertainment at the back because that's what people want right now. So you know, but shoot, family, um, is there anything else that we need to talk about? I'm I'm I'm, I'm hyped up about Kwanzaa tonight. Um, I got something else going. Oh, and also, please remember. Please remember, Sasha is a Kwanzaa baby. She will be walking around with some dollars on her. So y'all going to give her a hug and a dollar or something. Or so, you know what I'm saying? Because she, 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 she hype. But go ahead. <laughs> I have a question. I feel like... You can go first. Oh, my question is about um, how is our um, contest working? Man, um, now, I was trying to explain that. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take all the names of the people that got it right. And I think you did answer right, Miss Tracy Track. Uh, I did. Yeah. All right. Cool. So now the machine was the machine was supposed to randomly <laughs> it was supposed to randomly pick and send an email to the winner. But I don't see an email going out. I'm calling these people right after we get off the phone because I'm pissed off about it. And then I got to go on and structure the question for tonight because uh, the person was supposed to be notified that they won. Now, I only had it looked like I only had. Possibly eight people that got it right. So I'm going to put all the names in the basket. I'm going to select and I'm going to let people know who won tonight. Because I I, I didn't want to. So, so, so you have a 12.5% chance of winning if it's randomly drawn. There you go. Look at that. See, I got a math genius that's right by me, man. This shit is the bomb. I, 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 you can't do no better than this, man. Man, good God Almighty. So... But yeah, so um, I will. I'm gonna write those names down, and I got some of them in my head now. One of them is a phone number, so if I pick that one, I gotta call that person. But a, a email was supposed to go out. That's the only thing I'm frustrated about right now. <laughs> a email was supposed to go out to, to celebrate the person that won, and, and it didn't happen. So, do you have my email? 
No, my fault. It was, a text was supposed to go out to those, and an email was supposed to come to me telling me who won. But it, it never okay. happened. So I'm paying this money every month for shit that they tell me is supposed to work, but it's not working. That's why we got to do our own shit. So, I mean, if I'm going to have some shit failing, I would prefer it to be us. Shit, I ain't got, I, I can spend money on us. I ain't got time to spend, spend money on white folks failing and shit. They had more than enough time. They had a head start. You know, motherfucker, you don't supposed to be failing with a head start. So, um, all right. But family, I'm about to do this toast. Oh, before y'all go, hold on. Somebody had another question I interrupted. Go ahead. Yeah, that was a question. Question. Uh, I was just going to ask, um, should we be aspiring to be punctual or should we be thinking how to manage not being punctual? <laughs> I think I, I think I mean, for for people in poverty, I think we have to manage people not being punctual. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because I want you to think about this: the whole ceremony started on time, but because of earlier violations in the day, we was put behind at least in the first, the, at the very beginning. Before you got there, at the very beginning, we was put behind by at least thirty, possibly forty minutes. Because some stuff, some some of the codes of the family were violated, and the elder had to make adjustments. So I just gave I gave I gave Mike move the fuck out the way because there was shit that was that happened that should not have happened, right? And so we had to we had to make it up. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's that code. That's part of being a part of that family. So even though because I was there on time, but then some other happened, so I had to go. On, and make some arrangements, and Navita was there, and we was there, shit, I got there at 4.30, Navita, Navita got there about 5, you know what I'm saying, if even, it might have even been um, sooner than that, but we was there, and, 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 when I found out what I had to do, boom, I went, and I handled my business, and Navita came and got me, so that we could get back, and do, do our thing on time, by the time we got there, it was about five minutes left, and Elder Tony started the ceremony exactly at 6 p.m. Actually, he blew the horn at 5 till, and then ran down the hall and started the drum procession at 6 on the nose. So we was, I mean, the whole piece was on, on time, but something happened early in the day that threw everything behind as well. And and it couldn't have been avoided, you know what I'm saying? And I won't even discuss that on you know that's 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 a whole other discussion for other parts of the family because one of because because and this is another piece too, Quasi. You always gotta remember the 2080 rule, family. It's gonna be 28. It's gonna be 20 percent of the individuals that's gonna mess something up. The other 80 percent is gonna do what they need to do. But it also goes along with this. It's always about 20 percent of the people that do the work any damn way, dog. There's I, I don't know of an organization where a hundred percent of everybody is doing everything. It's always a uh, twenty uh, percent, and within that twenty percent is twenty percent of that. What's twenty percent of twenty percent, Kwame? Is there such thing? Four percent. Four percent. There's about four percent out there. It's about four percent. So. So. It, yeah, you know what I agree with that. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. I said when you get a minute, man, give me a holler. He said my need to ask you off uh, off air. But uh, family, I'm gonna listen to you on my iPad. I'm gonna look at the phone now. What the phone? It is. Oh, go ahead, Kwame. I mean, go ahead, uh, Quasi. I forgot what I was about to say. I got into listen mode. I'm actually talking about I'm forgetting what I was gonna say because that means I was really listening. Um, yeah, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> all right. Also, for all those out there, family, if you look at the book, the book is original art by Brother Tao Murphy. And this piece is being raffled off. So if you can see, you can see the seven candles in there. I mean, he, he put his foot on this, right? 
So y'all go, we got y'all go auction. The auction tickets cost, uh, not auction. The raffle tickets cost about five dollars, and we will be presenting the winner. We'll be presenting who the winner is, probably on the last day of Kwanzaa. Maybe I'll be able to text it out. So tonight, while Quasi is thinking about um, what it is he want to tell him, so tonight. If I ask you Habari Ghani tonight, the response is Kuji Chagalia. Um, it's at the King's Art Complex, drum call procession, and the lighting of the Kanara and libations will be handled by Tawi Family Village. Black National Anthem will be done by Roger Parrish. Honors and recognition will be BHB Brothers Helping Brothers. So that means... That means hip hop in the house tonight, fam, because BHB don't travel alone. Um, dance performance by Aquaba. Community, um, we got at uh, uh, Kwanzaa Facts, Health and Wellness, um, Minute Community Collection. Uh, we got Community Collection and children, then the children shall lead them. That's going to be hot. Uh oh. Then we got a youth performance by Brothers Helping Brothers. Oh, that's going to be hot tonight, family. You you need to get out there. Then we got spoken word for your mind and soul. We got the Watato, Watato, Wat, Watato, Watoto. Storytellers. We got Isid. We got Ray May. We got Nick Brown. We got Stephanie Bridges. We got Angelique and Lewis Berry. And then to end it up, we got the open mic, which will be hosted. By brother, um, I don't know what that dude's name. What's that dude's name? Um, what's that dude's name? Brother Hatim. No, it ain't brother Hatim. Huh? Brother, brother, I always asking those complicated, starting trouble questions. That nigga, you know, that, what's his name? Oh, brother Quasi Low. We gonna be doing the open mic. Oh. <laughs> I almost forgot my stuff. So we're going to have an open mic. Uh, I've been working on the piece. You've been working on the piece? And we're going to have... Um, last night. So I just started writing it last night. I don't know if I'm going to be able to rub it out. All right. Well, if you need some help, let me know. Gallery presentation, community open mic session, food vendors, harness health and wellness. So family. And also, I want to remind everybody... And those that do come in, remind me to constantly be reminding people that the vendors are down there. I just considered, I just thought that the hall was packed all the damn time. But I'm understanding a lot of people ain't come through. So I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I I thought I thought we did good on the vendor, but the vendors were like a lot of people wasn't coming down there. So we got to remind people, you know, especially those and 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 family, those of you that do like to talk, the place where you can talk is in the marketplace. You can walk down the hall, y'all can hold hands and do whatever y'all going to do. You can get as deep as you want, walk down there and buy some shea butter. You know what I'm saying? Shea butter is all the way down on the left-hand side. Right? All the way down. Right? And, and you know, so, hey, you know, um, but we're going to have the program popping off tonight. And it's going to be another lesson for us to get better at what we doing. That's what I love about it. And if I feel like it, I might do a show tonight. But I think it's important that I give y'all the Proverbs of the Week. We on day 54. I'm going to be giving this book away as the as one of the prizes. This is Giami Journey Workbook, Tribal Quotes, um, compiled by Hatim Giami. And I'm also going to give away a portrait book. So the next prize, the prize for tonight, will be... Um, uh, actual copy of Jeremy Journey Workbooks, Tribal Quotes. It'll be uh, uh, Poetry is My Religion by me. And then also we're going to have some Cerebral Lux um, Shea Butter as well as uh, a, a, a lip balm. A lip, lip balm. So, you know, boom. And, you know, yesterday's because people waiting for Some people want, the, want that book and want that card. So I'm going to go on and draw that out. And um, give people opportunity, send out a text, let people know that they could go on text, gen, uh, text uh, Kwanzaa 365 once again and be re-entered. But I'll get that together in a second. But the uh, Proverbs of this week 
day 54, all the forces in the world are not so powerful as an idea whose time has come. Let me read that again. All forces in the world are not so powerful as an idea whose time has come. That was uh, reported to be by Victor Hugo. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. That's the Buddha. Last, the reason two antelope walk together is so that one can blow the dust out of the eye of the other. That's from Africa. The reason two antelope walk together is so that one can blow the dust out of the eye of the other. I think we might need to have a show. Because that don't man shit. You already have a radio show. I know, Sasha. I know. I'm talking about tonight. Um, Did y'all take a bath last night? It's real life here, Jeremy. Y'all take a bath last night? What you mean you don't know? I said I don't remember. No, you didn't. Go take a bath because we got to get ready to get up out of here. Um, all right, so here we go, family. First, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose, call that creator. We lift up our glass and we salute and we say, Ashe. Thank you, Sasha. My from there, family, we move to the glorious and the powerful list that combines us all. Whether we are happy, whether we're sad or whatever, whether we're going through some troubles, we got the, we got we got all these ancestors working for us constantly. And that's the one thing that we got to remember, family. We got all these ancestors working for us constantly. It's beautiful, it's powerful, it's energizing. It always kind of keeps me um keeps me balanced and keeps me humble. Because, you know, um I'm honored that people trust me to to be the one to read their um, ancestors every day. So we start. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin the Texan and Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walter, Christopher Penny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Marco Ellis, Watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown, Jenny Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twigs, Watch Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Falara, Montague Pittmanel, No More X. Sir Pat Ma, Rob Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Coach Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder, um, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofo, Hector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Willis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek and Derek L. Pulley, and the Luxor Brother, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley. Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rendleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend J. Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mayor Liss. Oh! While reading the answers, I just thought about why possibly I didn't get the results from the contest that I wanted. So I'm going, I'm about to set up question number two. Get ready. Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay. Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Will, Levita Farmer, Agosa Sue, Sheila Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn. The oldest Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Linda Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar. Sasha and Gina, take a bath. Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton. Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Mary Patricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds. That's dramatic. Real life here, Jeremy Jeremy. Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I ain't checked the chats at all. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis. 
Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hitter Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, Lemay Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quells, Urania Thornton, Bernie Quells, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.E. Johnson, Darita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Senior, James Parham, Daniel Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hay Levester, May Morland, Paul Morland, Elder Kayla, Rosemary Martinez, Elder Amitab Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, D'Amico Russell, Dillamon Aries, Jean and Ruth Jones, Jaina Callahan. Oh, snap. I am sorry I did not see all these. Okay. Who is on the phone? Brother, I need help. I'm battling depression and bipolar. I feel like women think I'm the ugliest black man. Oh, shit. That wasn't the place to post that, brother. All right. Uh, all right. Um, good bill, family. I'm enjoying listening. Peace. I am sorry, L. David <coughs> Bay. Somebody posted that on the uh, on, on the yeah, on, on the timeline, dog. I know who it is. <laughs> Somebody I know. I don't know if you know him, but I, I know who he is. He said I'm battling with depression. Shit. So I mean, uh, it's. Call me if you want. Huh? You can call me. Uh, yeah, I know who it is too. He's been doing this shit for a long time. And um, you talk to me, uh, Tim, about that person off the air. Yes, ma'am. I will. I will. Okay. Because I got to talk with him. Right. That, 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 that wasn't a, that wasn't a poor replacement. Yeah, that, 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 that was done on purpose, trust me. Good. Uh, L. Davis Bay shots out. I'm enjoying listening. Thank you for listening. It's predictability possible because of established patterns. Yes, it is. Um, MIP and last night just displayed the obvious generational disconnect, which speaks to what Brother Quasi alluded to previously. The need to implement the ideas of Kwanzaa throughout the year. Uh-oh. Is what is that what I gave five dollars last night for? Uh yeah. The uh the 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 the, the raffle. Uh, I can't wait for this evening. It's gonna be hot. That's Brother Kwame, and Brother Hot Tim. I, I do the, I do the extra uh, on that. But yeah, it's gonna be hot. Those were some tight sayings. All right, so we are gonna have. Uh, so let's go and get through the second part of the list. That's exactly what I was talking about. Right? So whoever said that about the throughout the year. Mm -hmm. All that stuff I was talking, they just articulated it way better than I did. <laughs> right, right. I mean, well, I ain't gonna say better, but he basically alluded to, I mean, and that's L. Davis Bay, and I think, I think that L. Davis Bay is in Columbus. So that's that's like mine right there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, L. Davis Bay, if you still out there, brother, make yourself known. To us, so we can know who you are, because he, he listens in on um, YouTube, because we're able to stream in um, so many different ways. I was streaming like a mug last night. I got clearly. You might want to see yourself. You might want to go to my page and see yourself. But on with the William Walter, William Walter West, Nigel Lopez, Elder Basiji, Falani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Denise Waters, Defridis Hines, Andres Bostic. And the Bostic, Sasha, didn't I just ask y'all to go take a bath? No, y'all can take one together. I don't care. I just want to get it done. No? Okay, cool. Go take a bath, Sasha. And the Bostic, Winifred Scannerberry, Wilson Hadley, Elma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Pertup Jr., 
Go take your bath, Sasha. Miriam Johnson, Wilbert Longmire. Oh, you so dramatic. About a bath. Edith Catney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Carla Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, and I got to remember to add that. I'm going to add that. Tim Ingalls, R.G. Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensenbaugh, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Brantley, Brian Washington Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Kathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, known as Uncle Buki, as well as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Word I, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G2 Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Haley, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Di oh, I gotta call that sister. Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck. Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Chris Jane Cottrell, I'm Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Char uh, Arthur, Ar Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Willard and Bob Hatch, Kim Laverne and Bradley Kim, Janie Hare, Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, and Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Less than Rachel Saunders, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Preston Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Mimi Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Manny and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Kofer, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornelia Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slane, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Mark Trowns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Albus Mountley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erlton Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, Henry West Statton, Joe Jamel Alls, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Bet Vaughn, John Dewey, Rick Beard, Tim Butler, Raymond Lord Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Baba Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt. H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Laurel Ellis, Elizabeth Battles, no, Elizabeth Sanders. Why do I say Elizabeth Battles all the time? Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irby, Haroon Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee Caldwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rayshawn Easley, Javaya McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shechem Aha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Lois Fernandez, Jacqueline Broaddus, Reginald Oliver, Mazarine Cofer, George Swan, Edmonia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles H. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. We lift up our glass. How was, uh, brother, I was just thinking that too because I read his ancestors and I haven't heard from him in a second, but um, he was doing a lot better than he was. Um, but, um, we lift up our glass. Anubis, if you out there, Brother Kwame would like to hear from you, as well as the rest of the family. Let us know you all right. So we lift up the glass. And you know what we say? We say, what we say, Sasha? Thank you, baby. We lift up the glass. That's that Kwanzaa, baby. That's that Kwanzaa, baby. All right, here we go. We lift up the glass for the present moment. And since nobody's on the line, I can go back and I can do it. Put it on. Give me a second. Uh-oh. Where's my stuff? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Every uh oh. Everything's frozen speaker. I don't know what's going on, family. Speaker, speaker, you still out there? Huh? 
I already checked one too. I already did the mic check. That wasn't what I was trying to get, huh? Oh man. Okay. Oh, it's still going cool. All right, cool. Dad, come on. What's the matter with you? Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Dad, you don't come on. Dad, you don't come on. Dad, you don't come on. So today we are on Ujama. And for those that don't speak the language, that's cooperative economics. Now I ain't say how barigani. If I say a barigani, you supposed to say what? Okay, cool. Alright. Cooperative economics. The modic principle today is reciprocity. The M7 that we teach young people is gratitude. The color is green as you can see. <coughs> the hermetic law is polarity. We're going to have to have a discussion about those um, hermetic laws. Male name is Yao. Female is Yao. Biggie. For the day, do, do, do y'all use Yao and Ya? Because I've seen some place they use Kwa. You ain't never heard that one? Give me that. Give me that book bag. All right, so... I'm, I'm at, oh, that's not my book bag. Get that trash out of here. Give me my book bag. Uh, all right, here we go. Give me a second, family. This is the day names. For those that's interested in what day you was born, look it up on the computer and I can tell you. So for this day, they have Kwa and female Abba. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say that, but yeah. What y'all use? Because, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, all right. So, we got, so this is where the different traditions tra um, clash. But right now, it's y'all or ya. All right? So, um, but, you know, some of y'all come from different traditions, and we're not going we, to throw no shade on any of those African traditions, as long as you lining up. You know what I'm saying? We following code, right? So, family, you know, in this moment, I want to wish you the best in this moment. I want to um, I want to challenge you because you know even when we go into Kwanzaa tonight, I want us to come in conscious of the moment because everything we do, everything we say is lead is building a foundation upon which our children stand. So what are we gonna bring together tonight? All right, what are we gonna bring together for the future? As Kwa the, the question that Kwame, I mean the question that Kwasi is asking, right? What we what future actions are gonna be generated from? This Kwanzaa moment, right? So we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. We say, Ashe. All right? So, from their family, we move to our children, our children's children, onto future generation, onto infinity, right? So we lift up our glass and guess what we say? We say, Ashe, Ashe, right? We say, Ashe, because we're going to toast our children, the ones that's here now, we're going to toast the ones that's going to be here in the future. Because everything we think, say, and do, and work on is building a foundation for them. So don't be so deep that you leave your children in a hole. And don't be, you know what I'm saying? Don't be so shallow that they don't have nothing to stand on, right? So we lift it up and we say, I say, all right? Here we go. For their family, what do we do? Where do we go? Gina, what y'all in the car? Nobody ate nothing in the car. All right. Real life here, Gianni Journey. So here we go. We lift up and we salute all of our relations. We say I say from all our relations where we go. This is that personal libation for you, right? That personal toast for you. That selfish toast. Family, take some time because you can't you can't fill other other people's co a cup if yours is not full. Fill your cup. I say from their family. Last but not least, I toast the most beautiful, powerful, magnificent individual in the room. And guess who that is? It's you. I told you. I say, I say, I say, I say. All right, family. I will be putting up the next contest. I'll be sending out a mass text. You'll be able to text in Kwanzaa 365. Don't do it right now. Right? Wait for the text. Once you get the text, you'll be able to um, put it back in, and I will put you in. And also, I'll be letting people know tonight who won the contest because I'm about to start writing that stuff out right now. Because I want to be fair, 
Because a lot of people, a lot of people was getting it wrong. And, hey, and keep the answer simple. Not it's, it's usually one word. I'm trying to keep it one word. Very simple. Keep it simple. All right, so family, this is Brother Hot Tim. Toasty, I'm going to sip. Hot damn. Mm. Them bottles going to be ready. Kwame, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go, I'm going to stop. While I'm on my way onto the bar bus, I'm going to stop and get you, uh, get, get what I got to get for you. Maybe, I might. I might even throw in a copy for the next group, uh, Freedom Within Limits. That's my, that's my latest book. Now we're gonna be. We ain't, what time is it? What time is it? We ain't gonna be leaving till about twelve thirty. Did you find the white? Um. All right, so family, huh? Family, I am out. Y'all take it easy. I gotta go on and, and finish this this message stuff up. What what's up? You find a white bag. A white bag. You, you no, I ain't find a white bag. Did you find a bag of um uh, shea butter or and lip and it got lip balm on it? No, in here because Sasha and Gina was supposed to bring it in, and they blaming each other. <laughs>